Okay guys, Sugar Cane coming at you again. This is uh, part two. Now the gloves are going to have to come off for this one because we're using short parts and um, just excuse the nails. <laughs> but let's let's keep moving, let's keep moving. So we got the... They're not too bad. So we got the um, key of D plate here as uh, I described and shown in uh, video one. Now always line up to make sure that these are the same size because you never know you may have just picked up the wrong size reed I know these are Kia D um, just because I I have them all made up pre-packaged you know, pre for me so I know what I'm dealing with what I've got and I can grab them to hand but there you go see if I can get the light to shine there look at that see same length same height and um, they'll be the same pitch obviously it's a key of D reed but you can use a, a key of C sharp uh, or D flat and you know up tune it and vice versa if you've got a key of E flat you can down tune that um, you know provided it's the four draw of an E of an E flat so what we want to do here this is where it gets a bit complicated with my device you want to flip this over say a bit complicated it's not really you just have to eyeball it up a little bit better so we're going to hit that four draw rivet right there but I'm working on someone's harmonica now so I've got to really be careful so I've got to make sure that this there you go see I've done it gentle as you can see it's still attached uh, that's because I didn't want to warp Steve's plate get your knife under and just pop it away so now we're left with well a hole and a, a reed slot so our new reed will well, go in that in its place very soon I'm gonna have to just take off the lip off there so what I use for that is this my Dremel and I've just got like a heavy gauge rubber wheel here and I just take that back there you go boom see that is smooth and flat and flush yep always check the backside as well but it's it's not too important the backside you'll see why in a minute when we uh, install the reed back in the room sorry about that guys right then um, um, what I've done is I've just installed my little screw now these are 1.2 screws really really farty to keep hold of and a one point screw bolt um, this is my method and it's well it's guaranteed to last you a long time so as you can see it won't go through that hole yet because uh, well it needs tap in so I tap my holes with a 1.4 tap bring it back I put a little bit of grease on the end of the tip and um, I don't use much because I'm only going through a no, one point something mils of metal so as soon as I've tapped it and it's come through the other side let's get it going and boom that's the one so always make sure that this has got no burrs on it and the back side also you just want it fur free it'll save you a lot of aggro so I bird freed it it's nice and clean polished up and um, now I should be able to get the reed stick line it up there's my screwdriver trusty screwdriver give it a few turns now what I'll do off camera because it's a uh, it's going to be messy is I'm going to cut the tail end of that off 
after I've put the bolt on the top. Now, when I'm installing this, I always press it down into the slot so it stays there, otherwise you're gonna be chasing this bugger around. You wanna go finger tight or hand tight, don't go too tight, because you will bend the rivet right by here, uh, the reed, sorry, and well, then you're looking at uh, fixing your reed shape. So just, there you are. No tighter than that, you've seen it, it was just biting and it just went past the biting point where it was just going into its torque and that was that's it, that's all it needs. Um, I need my, this is what happens when you're doing your reeds. What we'll do eventually after putting the bolt on the back is you sense it up with, with the window behind you and hopefully, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do this, center it, and the shaping's all wrong, obviously it needs a, a good few hours in the shaper, yeah, well, in the shaping department, but, you know, on the whole, that reed is officially fixed. So I get the nut, nut goes on the back, and then, as you, as you know, I'll cut this flat and flush with the nut, with the, with the nut head, and uh, I'll put a little bit of Loctite on the back there because it actually does give it a little bit more of a security for myself. Obviously, I'm, you know, sending these worldwide, so uh, I want them to have no issues, no problems. But that's what I do. Bit of Loctite, and you're good to rumble. Again, sugar tool, line her up, pluck. If it's working, put the, this on the back. When you tighten this up you will knock it out slightly, so just hold up to the window again. Um, I am literally looking for... Oh, I know where they are. Right, get a pair of these. I just remembered I had them. Um, just give it a few turns. Now, as you can see, look where the reed's gone. So, sugar tool. Now it's a bit too far over, so, uh, yes, line her back up, it's nearly there, it's hard to see without the window behind me, let's get the window, right, the window light, there you are, and then what I'm going to do, or what I just did as well is uh, I had the, I had that nice and tight, well, I just lined it back up and that just basically gives it the last bit of uh, pressure and security needed. Bit of Loctite on that now. And then, you basically put a on the comb and it plays. Yeah. That was a that was a really good successful video. <laughs> well, that bloody works. Awesome. Let's put them both together. Right, this is uh, it's just a quick little play test. So that works, um, now excuse this, crappy tuner, I, I've got a better one than this, but uh, purpose sakes of this demo, grab a tuner, now we've done the four draw that is complete, you know there's nothing else to do to it except for tune it, um, you know I, I, I'll do a lot more work than just tune it, I'll have to tune it about four or five times with retailering etc, you know because it's custom then, it's not custom at the moment, at the moment it's uh, it's officially like a stock. So we got minus 22. Whole one draws out as well. So what I'm gonna do is raise from minus 22. Taking metal from the front here. Just lifting it. Whoop. Steady. 
just lift that that'll do for the demo that's a three that's a four or oh, three 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 <laughs> minus three sorry so uh, it's beat free I'm gonna put my signature specs on this but for the demonstration jobs are good and come check out my website at www.sugarcane.co.uk and um, if there's anything I've over overlooked in this video please drop me a link uh, email me or just comment below uh, is there anything I've missed let's have a look aha I think this is a 1.4 mil tap um, now you can go uh, actually it's a 1.2 because what I've done I've gone slightly under the tap to give it more bite when I put the screw thread through uh, so yeah this is a 1.2 and that's a 1.4 screw um, I will take the tail end off this the tail end I mean that bit that sticks up because as soon as you put this in a wooden comb let's test it on a manji a second manji combs are similar oh let's go this way yeah there you go this is why I use 1.2 they fit nicely in that reed chamber but always take the tail off because you're altering re wind redirection and the, where the wind's traveling I say wind you put your breath force you don't want it to have any ob well too much in the way otherwise you're going to end up with higher pitches or lower tones so keep this at a min minimum <laughs> tongue-tied um, so yeah just size it up as you see fit and yeah if you find that the comb is a little bit too short get a file in there and just you know cut into the cut into the comb don't be afraid you're making space to fit that but whenever it goes again you'll be able to quickly unscrew put a new one in and you'll know what you're doing so hopefully this video saves you a good couple of quid and uh, Steve on behalf of everybody, thank you for sending in your, uh, well, your broken sugar harmonica. It was awesome. That, that just worked really hand in fist for this video. So, uh, again, thank you, buddy. And everybody else who's watching, please visit the website and like, subscribe, email, send to a friend. Thanks a lot, guys.